Today we will talk about species that made a comeback within the last couple of years or decades. A couple of weeks ago we talked about species which are on the brink of extinction and have an unlikely chance of seeing the end of this century. In this video we will flip the cut so to speak and talk about more positive news in the form of species population recovery and the increase of population numbers. For a long-term resilience and health in an ecosystem it can be crucial for species to recover. Recent preservation and wildlife conservation efforts made it possible for some important species populations to be on the rise again. Let's look at four different key species that made a comeback in recent years. First we will talk about an animal that I'm very happy to hear good news about because they are absolutely incredible creatures and one of my favorite animals. Last year in 2021 Mongolia did its first ever snow leopard survey. The positive results showed that the Mongolian population is stable with an estimated 953 individuals. The snow leopard shares his habitat with a lot of remote living Mongolian herder families with the livestock. Also, there's mining interest in some snow leopard habitats. Ultimately, both lead to threats for the animal in the form of retribution killing for a livestock loss, habitat loss due to mining companies and also the ongoing threat of poaching. Conservation efforts from, for example, the Snow Leopard Trust in the recent decades helps to minimize and counter those threats. Next to the usual things of genetic and disease research and the monitoring via camera and GPS, the conservation efforts go a step further. There are different programs for the Mongolian herder families to reduce the motivation of killing and poaching the snow leopards. For example, there is a livestock insurance to reduce the financial impact of snow leopard predation in the form of access to compensation for an animal loss. There is also the so-called snow leopard enterprises with a great yet simple idea. Herder women in snow leopard habitat produce unique handcrafts with the natural resources at their disposal. The Snow Leopard Trust will buy these products from them and sell them to snow leopard supporters across the globe, increasing the Mongolian herder family's income by up to 40%. All that and way more conservation efforts led to a stable population of snow leopards in Mongolia. A couple of weeks ago we talked about the Cross River Gorilla being critically endangered. There are also other gorilla species like the Eastern and Western Lowland Gorilla with unstable or declining populations. But there is also somewhat positive news for the gorilla species. The subspecies of mountain gorillas in Uganda and Democratic Republic of Congo has recovered slightly. For a subspecies that was expected to be extinct by the end of the 20th century, this is very good news. The mountain gorillas reside in a large forest in the over 80,000 acre big ecosystem. This ecosystem spans from a national park in Uganda to a nature reserve in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is one of only two places where the mountain gorilla still exists. The other ones are the Virunga volcanoes. The population in Buwindi is estimated to be at 459 individuals, which is up from an estimated 400 individuals in 2011 and way up from about 130 individuals left in 1960. For centuries, a major threat to the humpback whale was whaling, which drove the species to near extinction. Next to the humpback whale, many other species fell victim to this practice. The blue whale, for example, still hasn't recovered properly from those events. However, in 1969, many countries decided to ban whaling and in the late 1980s, there was an international cessation of whaling as an industry. Sadly, there are still some countries in the world which continued with their practice of commercial whale hunting up until today. Most notably notably Japan, Iceland and Norway. On the bright side, at the point where whaling largely stopped, whale populations, especially the humpback whale population, recovered well and has substantially grown since then. As of 2018, the IUCN Red List listed the humpback whale as least concern with a worldwide estimated population of about 135,000 whales, 84,000 of those mature individuals. Considering that there were once only 10 to 15,000 humpbacks left worldwide makes this a huge success for the species. Whereas the Sumatran tiger is critically endangered with a declining population due to habitat loss and forest degradation, the tigers in Nepal seem to be on a good track and made a good comeback. Nepal has become the world's frontrunner for tiger conservation. 
This summer, Nepal announced that it has 355 individual tigers roaming their country, almost tripling the population since its estimate of 121 tigers in 2009. This is a result of the protection of key tiger habitats and corridors, partnership with local communities and cracking down on poaching and illegal wildlife trade. At the Global Tiger Summit in St. Petersburg, Russia in 2010, all 13 countries that have tigers in the wild pledged to a TX2 goal of doubling their tiger numbers. Since then, only Nepal has met this goal, but others like Russia, India and Bhutan have shown good progress as well. On the 5th of September of this year, those countries met again in Vladivostok, Russia for the second International Tiger Forum. As a result, all of them agreed to adopt and implement the next Global Tiger Recovery Program for the next 12 years, pledging to further hold up and increase tiger conservation efforts. If you want to read the full one-page declaration, feel free to pause the video or look for the link in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed watching. If you did, please click on the like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos. It is free and only takes one second to do. But most importantly, take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic day.